In 2006 a dynamic dance duo formed to take on the world. This Anglo-Australian partnership promptly traveled the globe, learning from the masters of dance. If no one else has the answers, and if you can find them, maybe you should get in touch with Dizzy Feet. If you've got the questions, we've got the answers. Good evening. 
Good evening. Here we are again on a Friday night. Good evening from me. It's good evening from him. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So anyway, thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you again next week. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, everyone. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. It's Friday night. Mm. We made it through another week. We did. Yeah. And we are not doing a video tonight, are we? There's no video tonight. No. We're just here for a chat. Here for a chat, yeah. Um, Checking the, in on everyone. The camera crew had a, uh, I've given them a week off, basically, um, from doing a video. So we've done 10. Mm. That's a lot, actually. Yeah. 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 Ten weeks of... Ten weeks of... Lots of editing. Stuff. Yes, yeah, lots of editing, that sort of thing. Yeah, so, um, it quite, to be quite honest, I ran out of ideas. Because this one still won't get on camera no. properly. No. So the other things that I've got planned, of course, involve this one. Require me. And if she's not there, I can't do it. Or well, I could get some sort of body double, but uh, she won't be happy with that. Yeah, so I don't you mind. You can get someone else. Oh, I'll get someone else then. Oh, no problem. She says that now, but yeah, she wouldn't be. Yeah. Your sound is very wobbly. Oh. Mm. Wobbly. So I'll turn that off for a sec. We're going to listen to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Your sound is very wobbly. Oh yeah, there's that Oh, it's doing that again. again. Those settings have changed, have they? No. That's touching the microphone. I don't think that makes any difference. That is so infuriating. We bought this extra thing that supposedly helped stop that. Yeah, them. that is very infuriating. Is it doing it still? That is so infuriating. We bought this extra mm. thing. There it is. Why is it doing that? <coughs> it was fine last week, wasn't it? Last week there was no problems. We had this thing the first time last week. Yeah, and it was fine, wasn't it? Yeah. It's very frustrating. There's nothing I can do about it either. And mm -hmm. uh, where's the? Um, where are we? So that's all going up fine. I can't. I can't do. I can't change these settings while we're streaming. You see. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, which is a bit of a pain. It sounds. It seems to me as though it may well be the a problem with the streaming. Um, software perhaps because none of the equipment is any different is it worth going off and starting again um i, I don't know if i can do that oh, okay. yeah. i don't know do I? Yeah. i'm not a tech person yeah the sound was fine in the other bits i'm sure Some people will tell me otherwise but they will confirm with me if the sound was fine mm. on uh Oh, oh. the TV now the sound is perfect. That's strange then, isn't it's it? It's Facebook then. Maybe it's, Maybe it's yeah, Facebook. it might just be related to Facebook, perhaps. Yeah. So if you're watching on YouTube, can you just tell me um, if it's all right? If you're listening on Facebook, it sounds like it's not. But there is on Facebook, it seems. She's watching this on her TV, though. Oh, so it might be coming through the TV better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we got we've got Sigrid and Margaret Linda <laughs> Lorraine that's Facebook Margaret says yeah oh I'm sorry about that so well we are streaming on YouTube so do you have access hang on I can, I can do this actually hang on this is, this is sound awful for you lot for a second bear with us No, it's on there as well. So it's not. It's not that. It's not that. It's not that. I don't know. I've got no answers to this. It's, oh, it's just infuriating. I spent 30 quid on an arm as well. It was a waste of time. <laughs> Looks like it, yeah. Mm. Mm. I don't have anything to do with that. Camera? Well, yeah, because that's picking up sound as well, potentially. Can you turn volume off? I have turned it off. I have turned it off from here. Yeah, I can't believe it off. Uh, I, I'm really sorry. I mean, we, I can I can turn it off and start again, and then we'll see if it makes it any different. I'll try that if you want, because it is infuriating. And I know if you're trying to listen to us and we're making these funny wobbly noises, um, then uh, it's infuriating. So we try that. let's try that. We're going to go. We're going to go and we're going to come back. We'll come back. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you the test. Go. The test screen, um, you'll get the normal little test screen. Hold your horses 
and uh, we will be with you in a moment. Let's see if that's any better. Are we live again now? We are back live again. We should be anyway. People should be able to see us. Hopefully. Let us know if that's any better. We've basically just turned it all off and started again. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Let us know if that's any better. No, no, no better. <laughs> it's no better. We can hear it. And I've gone dark again. Oh, what a frustrating! What? How frustrating is that? I'm trying one more time. Try one more setting. I'm very sorry. We don't like this. I don't like it when this happens. I'll be with you in a game in a sec. Right, let's have another go. Let's see if that makes any difference. I'm not holding my breath though, at all. Mm. I don't know if people can see us yet anyway. Right, let's have another go. No. Let's see if that makes any difference. I'm not holding my breath though. It's not, is it? No. Really annoying. Really annoying. No, it can't be anything to do with that actually. No. Let me switch camera. Let me switch camera. See if that makes a difference. Because you did suggest that, didn't you? You did suggest that. I've turned it off. Let's turn it back on. Let's see if that makes any difference. So just normal webcam now. Yeah, normal webcam, and that other thing's turned off. I don't think it's going to make a difference. It might do though. Oh, that's. Let's see that makes any difference. So just normal webcam now. Yeah, normal webcam, and that other thing's turned off. I don't think it's going to. Oh, it has made a difference. I think it has. Has made a difference. Let us know if it makes a difference your end, because I think it has here. Yeah. Hasn't it? Why, why is this fancy camera giving us audio problems? That's pretty annoying. All of a sudden as well. We did use yeah. it a few times, didn't we? Okay, well, we'll stick like this then. Which isn't quite Hello as... Hello again. It's not quite <laughs> as, as beautiful. Um, but uh, It's not quite as HD, is that what you mean, is it? No, it's not. No, it's not. Let's turn that off. Epoxy thing. He's not happy. Not He's happy. not very happy no, at I'm all. not happy. Not happy. <laughs> so. So yeah, here we are there again. There we go. Here we are again with uh, better sound. Then now. Uh, is anyone still with us? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if anyone. Oh, they've all cleared off now because we're messing gone. about. Let's go get a drink. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to fix that. It was fine though, wasn't it? It was fine last week using the same setup completely. Mm. The week before that was the one where it had some problems, didn't it? And that's mm. when you got the arm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Annoying. Anyway, here we are. Right, question time. Fire away. Go on then. Chat away. Talk to us. Talk to us. They're still with us. Well, good evening, They're everyone. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Uh, well, there have been some questions, uh, and one of them was, um, "What have? What, oh. <laughs> what have you done to your head? What have I done to my head? Well, 
Oh. That poxy dog of ours. He's just over there. Which is just behind us. Um, there's a little park around the corner from where we um, where we live, and he uh, he likes to go up on this little bank. It's got a bank. Yeah. Little bank, and he goes up there, and there's a little sniff, and then he just goes down again. Just has a sniff there normally, and it's directly adjacent to the the wall is is, is a is a is a building next door, and they've now had some scaffolding put up um, that goes into the park. Onto the bank. Onto the bank. So he likes to still have a sniff round. And um, he took me up there the other day. I think Monday, was it? What day is it? Friday? No. Tuesday. Wednesday. 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 It was mm-hmm. Wednesday. Wednesday he took me up there. And he pulled me up there and he's going around in between all the poles and annoying me. I'm trying to get rid of him. Bring One him of back. the poles was quite low. Quite low. I had a hat on. I had a hoodie up as well. And I didn't see the end of a scaffold pole. And I went headlong into it quite hard, like that, which was um, quite painful. For yeah, you. very painful. Yeah, very painful. It's not been quite the same since, to be honest. Have you? No. <laughs> you no. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking you might be a bit concussed. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We've got a keyframe error now on YouTube. On YouTube. What's that then? I don't know what a keyframe oh, is. I don't is. know. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, you're not very happy, are you? It's, it's your vibrations, oh, darling. You need to. I'm very frustrated you need by to get this. On a more positive. I'm very frustrated. Oh, we were gone. Really? Yeah, we were. Well, then you didn't realise we were gone, but we were gone, and we're back. Okay. Now we're back. Yeah. So sorry about that. We went dropped off for a second. We're back again now. It should be better. <sighs> yeah. Look at the wrong camera as well now. So anyway, that's what happened to my head. Did it knock some sense into me, apparently, says Linda Bloomer. Um, no, not necessarily. It mm. perhaps knocked some sense out of me. Yeah. Um, any updates on the competition in July? We only announced it on Tuesday? <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah, no, so no updates as yet. The room's booked. The floor's booked. The scrutineer's booked. Music Man's booked. There'll be no fancy light. I'm looking at the wrong camera again. Yeah. The f- the, there'll be no fancy lighting this year. It's the, literally just a room and a dance floor. The idea is this is a no frills competition. Yeah, no frills. Um, it's just literally so that people can go there and dance in that environment yeah. again. Mm. Um, yeah, so obviously, because what we don't want to do is lay out a lot of expense. At the moment. No. Well, luckily, of course, everyone says that you know everything's refundable. Everything's you know, refundable, yeah. But we, yeah, we just want to sort of just make it simple because it's simpler to organise as well. So from that perspective, yeah. when you start adding in more fanciness, it gets harder and harder to to mm. organise it. So yeah, um, because we don't really know what's going to happen, um, it's easier just to keep it simple. Mm. Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah, yeah. So that if for any reason it can't go ahead then it's simpler to then deal with that as well, yeah. isn't it? There's less yeah. suppliers and there's less mm. problems. If uh, if you're coming to watch, uh, I know many of you would like to come and watch, it'll just be a one-off spectator fee as well. There's no daytime admission, evening admission. It'll just be rock up and watch. And then you can come and go as you please, because yeah, it'd be something that would go all day into the evening. So yeah. The plan is to start at nine, and then who knows what time we'll finish. I looked at the Britannia timetable and... Uh, over the two days, because we did two days of comps, obviously, last year and the year before. And if we were to do the same events with the same level of entries, uh, it would take us 17 hours. And I, I muted that. I, I said that, suggested that to Kelly. Why don't we just start really early and finish really late? But she wasn't having it. So um, we've got to try and finish uh, 10 o'clock, I think. Finish, done and dusted, everything done by 10 o'clock at the latest. And so that's 13 hours if we start at 9. So some things are going to have to go, some things are going to have to change. Some things have to be amalgamated uh, to, to give everyone the chance to compete. Um, no fancy dinner, no fancy shows, just a day of comp. So, um, But it's a chance to get out and, and mingle and do things. Uh, they'll, uh, we're going to do regular video updates on it actually as well, uh, with sound that works. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're going to release one next week just letting people know about things. And um, one of the things that we're going to make very clear though is that we'll only run the comp if there are no restrictions. Mm. If there are any kind of restrictions of any kind, then it won't happen. Yeah, we don't want things to, to sort of spoil the enjoyment of it. We want it to be yeah. normal. Not, n- not new normal, we want it to be normal. 
Um, so that's something that's very important to us. Yeah. Uh, because it is going to, like we say, be a no-frill sort of competition. Mm. At least we want that. Yeah. So. Um, so. Yeah. Um, so it's still, you know, a yeah. question mark, but fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, Sarah's asked, where will we advertise it? Well, we're going to put it on our website, on the Dizzy Feet website. So uh, I'm just putting some finishing touches to a, an aspect of that on our website, and that's where it will be advertised. It'll be dizzyfeet.com forward slash comp. C O M P, uh, and so that's where you'll get all the information because it's separate to the Britannia. You see, so the Britannia's got its own. That's the uh, it's, 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 that's its own entity. So uh, that's a separate website. So it will be on the Dizzy Feet website, um, which we will be releasing next week. Yeah. So then all the details, and we'll have regular video updates on there, and of course on Facebook and Twitter and yeah. and uh, and how we run and, it, you know, depends, Instagram. Depends a lot on so. the interest as well. Yeah, of course. If, if there's not a lot of people that are interested, if we don't get a lot of interest, then it won't be quite as fancy. We'll maybe a bit add different things. Uh, who knows? But uh, or not run it at all if no one's keen. But so far the interest has been great, and uh, we've got three dance schools already committed to coming, which is great. And they're big dance schools, so uh, just just them on their own would make it viable. Yeah. Uh, them on their own uh, with with me dancing with my lovely ladies as well, <laughs> and Kelly with uh, her lovely fella um, <laughs> makes it viable so um, yeah so at the moment it's all it's all systems go so we've just got to sort it all out yeah but if anyone's got any dancing related questions that would be lovely because that's what we're here for of course dancing related wow. well I suppose that is dancing related uh, no masks and no social distancing yes Sigrid because yes. if you've got social distancing uh, if you have to make sure you're socially distanced it's pointless it's a bit difficult absolutely to dance, pointless to dance with people uh, and um <laughs> Well, even if it's just the competitors that can dance together, then you've got to space all the audience out. It's just not possible. Yeah. Especially in that room. I mean, if you've been to that room in the Hilton, the floor takes up the majority of the centre of the room, and then you'd have to stagger people around. It's just you wouldn't it's be getting people in. Very difficult. So it'd be pointless. It so wouldn't, it wouldn't be practical at all. Yeah. The mask so. mandate is supposed to be going anyway, isn't it? Yes. It's supposed to be going soon. It so. should be, shouldn't it? Yeah, it should be gone anyway. Mm. Yeah. Nonsense. So, uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, to socially distance people in the audience and stuff, it would just it would mean we'd have like a handful of people watching as well, you know. So that's um, doesn't want it doesn't help with the viability. No. But also for the dancers, dancers love to dance in front of an audience. You know, we've we've experienced that when you dance in front of no one, it's mm. not really oh, the no, same. It's dull. <laughs> so because you know, this is about bringing everyone together mm. and and enjoying themselves. Yeah. That's what it's about. Um, Sarah Ball says uh, on YouTube, great idea to have no thrills. Now, I think you meant frills, I'm sure. Because we'd like <laughs> no it to thrills. be thrilling, but uh, no it'd be, frills. It'd be thrilling to go out. You there. can wear frills. I once wore frills for Latin comp. I had a white mm -hmm. shirt with frills. I'm sure we've all done a bit of it. Was, um, it was all the rage back child. in the day. All the rage back in the day. All the rage. So everyone's yeah. very quiet now. They're not commenting at all. So either the, nothing's working or... Um, People just haven't got any questions. Or well, they just oh. want to hear us talk. I don't know. Prompt us with something. Yeah. How's your week been? How's your week mm. been? My week been? Well, we've heard about your week. You got hit in the head. I did. With a scaffold. Yeah, I st you know, I don't feel quite right. And it wasn't anything to do with I don't with feel me. quite right. You were there. <laughs> I was there. You were watching from the bottom <laughs> of the bank. I did say, look out. And then you hit your head. I couldn't see. The you cat you, Because the you were looking at the dog. And, yeah. I could see it happening. Yeah. Margaret did say that I managed the Wednesday night class okay. I have to say, I didn't feel quite right on Wednesday night and I felt quite subdued. When I looked back at the um, the recap footage, it didn't look too bad, but I certainly looked and acted a lot better than I felt because I really didn't feel up to it at all, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'll just be honest with you. I hope you still well, enjoyed it. I did it. say he's not been quite the same since, yeah. so yeah. He might be a bit confused. I spoke to Hillary yesterday and she said that, actually. She said, because um, she used to be a nurse, you see Hillary, that I danced with, uh, and she said that, um, yeah, because you, if you get concussed, it could be like a little bleed on the brain. Mm. So you've got to be careful. But I'm fine. I'm fine. I think I'm just a bit tired, a bit fed up. Mm. I, I did some a exercise at the beginning of the week as drained. well. I'm a bit sore. Yeah. Just had enough, really. Is that enough? There we go. Anyway, there's my He's not very done. happy, is he? No, I'm quite grumpy. They're all going to get a bit depressed and quite grumpy. Off. But um, if you ask me some questions, I'll spring into life and and um, 
keep you entertained, but you know, I need <laughs> questions. Otherwise, it's literally just me waffling. I would be very good at 2 a.m. on the radio, wouldn't I? I think you would. Actually. Just fill up the radio airwaves with yeah. waffle. Yeah. Mm. Well, this is kind of like a radio setup, oh. isn't it? With that thing. Podcasts. We were going to do podcasts. We were going to do podcasts, but you've been too busy doing printing stuff out off the printer that doesn't work. And then I just press the button and it does work. That's been infuriating me. I Honestly, I don't know why it doesn't like me. <laughs> it just doesn't work. I try to print things to our printer and it doesn't work, ever. And then she gives me her phone. She prints it off her phone. And she gives and me it, her phone and I just press the button and it works. And it does it in two seconds. So I, just, yeah. I don't know She's why. just so impatient. I'm That's not impatient. I've sat there for ages waiting for it. To the point where this goes back to sleep. It does. It tells me deep sleep. The printer goes into deep sleep. Infuriating. Thank you for your concern, Ros, but I'm fine. I'm all right, really. I'm all right. She says we were worried about you. Oh. <laughs> Ju says, welcome to his world. He's always smacking his head on scaffolding. He's always concussed. <laughs> Trouble with Julian as well. He's got no hair to protect his head either, has he? Uh, presumably, though, he'd be wearing a helmet if he's on site. No, he wouldn't. Do you know you know Julian, right? You know who he is? Yes. He, he, yeah, he, yeah. he goes down sewers without gloves. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. I always had to wear a helmet when I went on site. <laughs> why are you laughing? I don't know why that's funny. I did go on site. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. It was very exciting. Building site for the yes. way back. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Building the Ephraim Island. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Kelly's previous life. It feels like a previous life. Yeah. If it was that long ago, it was a yeah. previous life. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was when I had a job. <laughs> yeah. It's quite nice. If you look it up, I'll tell them. Shall I tell them? Go on, tell them. Tell them. They're not coming forward. They're not anything. saying anything. Um, if you look it up, it's called Ephraim Island. It's called E P H R A I M. Do you know what I'll do? And that's where I used to work. I'll put a link to it in the in the comments. And it was in a in a in a suburb called um, Paradise Point. It literally was paradise. And I left all that because of him. Keep talking. No, I'm just saying, well, you're, oh, you're bringing it up. I'm thinking they can see what you're doing. Of no, they, they can't, can't see what can I'm they? doing. No. Yeah, so Ephraim Island, and it's this little island that was just off the coast. It had a 200 metre bridge. Uh, it was lovely. And Paradise Point, you'd walk across and had all these little uh, restaurants and shops and things, little green grocer and a a butcher and, and, and all that sort of thing all individual not big you know supermarket style lots of individuals and uh, yeah it was really really nice um, so yeah on the island it's up ahead um, apartments uh, little villas and then you know penthouses and all that sort of thing I'll send him a link on YouTube yeah that uh, shows yeah it was, you know, as far as jobs goes, it was the best job I ever had because purely because of the surroundings, really. It was just such a nice place to work in. And uh, I got to show people around and stuff. And yeah. Essentially, I was. It was very nice. I was first point of contact for introducing people to buying on the island. So, yeah, mm. it was nice. Mm. Oh, I, yeah, went. I took you there. Yeah, 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 we stayed there as well. We yeah. stayed in um, a guy that used to be on the Flying Doctors. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. stayed in his I penthouse. Lost touch, touch with yeah. him. Yeah, yeah. That was quite funny. He wasn't even there. He was yeah, away, wasn't he? Was filming, yeah, he said, so, wasn't he? Just, just let yourself in and stuff like that. They, he arranged it all. Like three he? days, four days, weren't yeah, we there? Yeah. 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 yeah, great. Overlooking, we had this little thing that jutted out from the side of the building. You could sit in it. What would they call it? A nook. What do you call it? I don't know. What I call don't. It. It, yeah, just like a little glass thing. Little and glass had thing. Had like a little day bed in it. And sit on it, and yeah. you can just sit out, and you see the it uh, see the um, and I remember Gold Coast, all the high rises and in one distance. Of, one of the best days was seeing the dolphins. They came right into the canal and ran out, and I was literally looking at the dolphins. It was amazing. Mm. Yeah. It's a nice place to live. Nice place to live. I could actually pull that up into what we're watching now. And then they could have it as a we could have it as a little insert if you wanted. Totally up to you. It'd take me a moment. You'd have to waffle for a minute while I worked it out. Waffle? What were yeah. we going to waffle about? Just talk then? about stuff and I can call it up okay. in the in the screen. Well yeah, that was that was an interesting work day anyway, when the dolphins came into the So it had this little inlet and um, a lot of places where I 
lived on the Gold Coast, um, they have these sort of canals. Some of them are man-made where they've dug in and some of them are natural. But this little island was natural and it actually had a big part of it that um, they couldn't build on at all because it was nature reserve. So that was, you know, separate. Well, not separate, but it's still part of the island, but they couldn't build on that particular bit. Won't work? No, it won't because oh, I have to sign in and that's oh. not good. Um, so yeah, I had this little nature reserve, then I had this little canal, and yeah, the dolphins came in and stuff like that. It's quite lovely, and you see them, yeah, yeah, every so often. Keep waffling. Next door to it, or not far away, was another island called Sovereign Islands, and that was a man-made island, and um, it was a sort of place where they just had the land, so people would just buy the land and then build their houses and stuff, and that would that was full of lots of multi-million dollar homes. Um, from people from all over the world and you'd get some very uh, ornate and eccentric styled homes let's put it that way and you could kind of tell where people were from because some were very like French provincial and then others were really really modern and then others were looked just bizarre some of them some looked like they were trying to live in Mexico I mean they, they yeah because they could do whatever they wanted so yeah, it was really really quite a feast for the eyes wasn't it mm, yeah fascinating actually yeah, fascinating yeah and they'd all have these underground car parks. car parking. So, because of course they would have, you know, ten cars and things like that. Just, just bizarre, really. Mm. Bizarre. I can't believe that I actually worked at a place like that <laughs> where we live now, so far removed. From oh. that, well, you that you you world. left that place. If you haven't seen it, I'm gonna. I, I can actually. I'll get it caught up in a second. Uh -huh. I'm just sorting it out. Uh, she she moved from there to a uh, to a to a two bed ex council flat. In yeah. Southampton, on the on the edge of a council estate. It was a bit of a culture shock. It was, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. One day, well, actually, there was two two exciting things. One day we um, held an event there, and we had the new Porsches and stuff come in. People go and see the apartments, and they look at the new Porsches and have a drink. And there was a little restaurant and everything on there. And then on another day, we had the Ferrari Club come and visit us, um, and we had fifty also Ferraris that we had to then park on the island so like I said it had this 200 meter bridge and we had all these because we didn't have enough spaces for 50 odd cars plus the residents that lived there so we had to try and park them all and then um, we parked them all along the bridge and yeah, it was quite a sight to see all these Ferraris parked along so of course you'd get really vintage ones right through to the oh. modern Oh, hello. Voting directions. There we go. I'm going to resize it, though. Resize <laughs> it. And it was just, yeah, it was just amazing, really. So there we go. This is the video. This is, this is um, where Kelly used to live. Mm. I don't know if you can hear the sound on it. I don't know if it's on. Yes, they can. A loud. I'm not turn that down a touch. So I was living there when I met James. It's a little bit... Uh, So this is great entertainment for you, isn't it? Yeah, there's the bridge. Yeah, you can, can see get the across. Bridge. Is that working? The island at one oh, point. There's the oh, yeah, bridge. It's music. Yeah. It was at one point earmarked for by a Japanese company to build like a fancy hotel. Um, fast and stuff, so. Apparently, I think the company that I worked for they bought it quite cheaply in the grand scheme of things. Um, to, to build on there and then sell. Oh, it's quite exciting. Very exciting. It's a bridge at the moment. What a wonderful bridge. <laughs> but yeah, I used to walk along there at night sometimes, go to a restaurant, and then toddle on home. Yeah, because the other side on the mainland there were some nice little, there's a row of yeah. shops and there. It was quite nice, wasn't it? Restaurants yeah. and stuff. Man made island, wasn't it? No, it was, no, always, it, it was no. always there. Ephraim is natural. Uh, the one next to it, Sovereign Islands, was my mate. Right, okay. okay. So, so where did you live? There's a little nature reserve there. Oh, um... They won't be to see your points. Okay. Well, I lived in this bit. They won't be to see your points. And then I lived over in that bit. They, they won't be to see your points. Yeah. I think we... I think we, John's apartment was... We all stayed there. Oh, was that right there? That yeah. one there? Was yeah. It? I thought it was at the back. No, 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 we stayed there. Oh. That was the first part that was built. Oh, okay. So, uh, on the left there, as you, yeah. as you look. On one of those the penthouse All parts. that part on the left was built first, and then the other parts came later. And the ones at the back later still. 
So you used to drive, you drive around the island on the island golf carts as well. Yeah, golf yeah, carts. yeah, we had golf carts, yeah. yeah it, was, it was a bit like a uh, Bond villain lair. No. Yeah, it was. You drive around in little golf carts, going underground and all just sorts. A, just a rich people lair. <laughs> they're on the, on the back. There's the, you can see in the middle, that's where we've got the dolphins. There's a, there was like a little well. Inlet. Inlet, yeah. And behind that is Sovereign Island, right? Yes. So, so that's a man-made well, island that, that one's man-made, behind. Made, yeah. And they're all individual homes, so yeah. everything, you, everything you see is someone's bought the land and then built whatever built they want. Their own home, And yeah. they can literally build whatever and, they want. I mean, you've got all sorts of people living there. Um, Some houses are made of gold. No, no. One had gold a roof, right? No, 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 titanium. Oh, okay. One had a titanium roof. Okay, not gold. Yeah. Yeah, Probably worth, just as expensive. Worth something. Well, I don't think gold would be Really big. Curious, curious. 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 I have a chance to get asking questions. How do you see me? Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> it was on a website called uh, Australian Brides R Us. Ab Aboriginal Brides R Us. <laughs> Shall we, have we had enough of the uh, FMI? They haven't shown any of the close ups, have they? It's a bit of a boring video. Oh, yeah. That's what they're Is there someone talking? Someone talking? It's frozen. Why is it my fault? This hasn't frozen here, it's only frozen there. Have we frozen everyone? We're on a freaking night. No, it's working again now. No, it's just music. No, it's just literally music. And they haven't really shown the island much at all. It's clearly one of those... Uh, um, it's a it's a drone footage, isn't it? Yeah, Clearly. Yeah. They're not yeah. going to zoom in, they're not. They've got a drone, no. have they? Well, they will. They should do. They should do. Zoom in and go down there and have a little look. Well, who knows? We'll wait and see. So it's, it's gripping, isn't it? It's gripping. It's a nice place, anyway. Hmm. No dancing there, though. No dancing, though. And even if there was a dance studio there, I don't think it would do very well. Well, it might do, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, People honest. were always very interested in my dancing and stuff like that. Had a little gym there and a swimming pool. Um, yeah. It's a nice lifestyle. Obviously, it's got the marina as well, so if you had a boat, you could uh, also have a marina. But they only had a Once we had a fire. Oh, we, did you? Yeah, we did. Just keep fire. you warm. I mean, we had a proper fire in the car park, which is underground. And that was quite bad. I don't really know what came from that, but I think maybe the person kind of responsible because they left some stuff that should have been left in a certain room that was flammable and everything. Didn't get any commission though, did you for selling any of the properties? Yeah. Anyway, I, I don't know. That's, I, I don't know where it's going to go next. I don't know if it's going to get closer so you can actually see some of the buildings. Probably not. Probably not. They're the so. houses you can see now. Yeah. On the end this bit. this is later. This is after we were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because those houses at the bottom right there weren't, weren't there. Weren't there, yeah. They're four yeah. four million each or something. Like that. Well, they were four yeah, million each. Now. So they've got like a little beach there as well, so that's quite nice. You've got your own little private beach. Although anyone can access it, so it's not, not necessary. You, as always, Kelly, are talking too quietly. Am I? People are saying they can't hear you very well. I've turned the music down. Oh, there you go. That's a bit closer up now. You can see. Yeah. It's just a, it's just a, a typical modern development. Mm. Very movie. modern. So completely different to anything else. That I've little bit there, there, they're just going past now. That little mm. thing that's sticking out. We saw a car stuck too, but they, 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 the tide had gone out, hadn't they? Someone had driven their car into the water. Do you remember? Yes, I do remember that. Idiots. I know, you do get a lot of idiots. Yeah. yeah. Idiots. Yeah. 
anyway. Well, that, that house has got its own pool. Yeah. yeah I remember a couple of them. Little, little tiny pools, but... Fabulous, yeah, nice. That's the inlet, they it? had their own lifts in the houses yeah. as well, yeah. and it was all quite cool. Because they've got the basement, so you drive the car into the basement, get in the lift, go up to your floors and stuff. Yeah. There were stairs as well. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Grant had a lift in his house, though. Did he? Yeah. 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 It was quite fun. It was a novelty. We only mm. used it once. <laughs> Didn't use it again. Pain, waste of time, really. Yeah. Much quicker that's, than that's the stairs. That's the main pool, the community pool. An infinity one, of course. Of course. Had to be an infinity And that's the, the gym, gym next to it. Next to it yeah. Yeah. And spa, you know, so they had a, someone in there that did all your facials and body scrubs and that sort of thing. I think this is finished. I think they've seen it all. They're now. zooming out now, I think they're done. Yeah. I think they're done. Someone's yeah. driving on the bridge, look. Oh, wow. Cars. Amazing. <laughs> Traffic. Yeah. <laughs> right, so a few questions have come in. Mm, good. Um, I know I'm talking about a lifestyle most of us couldn't even do about and I actually had it yeah at a very young age yeah 21 weren't you yeah mm. when I was 21 <laughs> I was uh, there we go it's done when I was 21 I was actually just not long no I was just about to move out of home mm-hmm. on a main road in Bitten and there's <laughs> you living it up yeah on an island we used, to, Gold Coast. we used to finish work and then we'd trot on into the restaurant, order some drinks, have a little after work yeah. conflab, talk about people we didn't like. Right, quick fire questions, we're moving on now. Go on. Um, so, do you miss Australia? Yes. Okay. There you go, that was, that was a question on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Simple answer, yes, Ray. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, of course I miss Australia. But um, I think most of the time, usually we're too busy to notice it if that makes sense but what I have to say is living over here is amazing as well because the rest of the world is so much more accessible nor- really nor- normally really normally yeah, yeah yeah so living in Australia you're so far away from everything you know even li- your next door neighbour <laughs> the thought of visiting <laughs> sometimes shush well you are your yeah. mum and dad's next door neighbour when they lived up the mountain was miles away yeah I know um yeah, so travelling to France, travelling anywhere really was just an ordeal. Mm. So um, it, what's lovely about living over here is that you have access to the rest of the world, which is, I, I think, really, really nice. And probably everyone that's been born over here thinks, oh, yeah, it's only, it's only France, it's only this. And I think, well, I think that's amazing. Because to me, over there in Australia, well, we've got miles and miles of beaches and... They're Mar- empty as well. Uh, yeah, miles They're and empty. miles of, of lots of beauty, don't get me wrong, but it's like wherever you live, you tend to take it for granted, don't mm. you? You don't tend to think, oh, wow, this is amazing yeah. where I live and where I come from. So she decided she left the beautiful surroundings and just moved in with the beauty so that she could have permanently with her. Yeah. Lucky you. I mean, I, I'm the sort of person that I'm just ignoring you. I'm the sort of person that loves the new forest just as much as I love the beach. So I'm kind of hard to please. I always said to you, didn't I, that we should have a house there and a yeah, house here. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be nice. That'd so be nice. we could spend summer over here and then summer over there. Uh, <laughs> or something so, like that. Someone says that it just looks like Southampton. Yeah. It does if you hold your eyes, squint your eyes. It looks a bit like Ocean Village. How far is Burley Heads from there? Um... It's a little bit further south, so Ephraim Island, uh, the Gold Coast is quite big. Uh, Ephraim Island was up the top and Burley Heads was down the bottom of uh, the Gold Coast. So yeah, it'd be a good drive, it might be an hour or so in traffic. Um, might be a bit shorter if you've got no traffic, but yeah. Were there any big scary creatures there on Ephraim Island? Not on Ephraim Island, I, we didn't see anything like no, that. No, no, not really. I mean. They make a bit of a fuss on it, don't uh, fuss about it. But most of the time, if you're living in amongst cities and, and where places are densely populated, you're not going to see a lot. You might see the odd spider or whatever, but um, only like little common ones, not not deadly ones. Um, I've been I've been to Australia seven times, I think now, mm. and uh, I've never seen anything other than a snake. The only thing I've ever seen was a snake, and that was up the mountain at your yeah. parents' house Which after your dad rural, after your dad had killed it because yeah. it was coming into the house. Yeah. That was it. I know you're supposed to kill it, but it was going to kill us, so he killed it. Um, 
yeah, that's it. I don't, I've not seen the tarantula, I've not seen the big spider, I've not seen anything really, anything to, to get scared about. Kangaroos, seen a few of those. Yeah, but they, they won't hurt you unless you actually well, you annoy them. Go for a boxing <laughs> match with them. Do you ever get homesick, Kelly? Um, well, I kind of explained that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I do sometimes. It'd be nice. It'd be nicer if it was closer, so that we could visit easier, wouldn't it? Yeah. Or they just uh, uh, created faster travel. Yes. That'd be nice. Yeah. If we could, well, and cheaper. <laughs> well, there is a patent for teleportation. I found a patent. The American yeah. government have got a patent for a teleportation system. So they've got the tech. Fact. They've got the tech. Teleports. Yes. Yeah, it would, it would be nice to go, wouldn't it? And and not for it to be such an ordeal yes. to go, and not for it to cost so much. Yeah, that that is a big issue. But I definitely or a spaceship. We could have a spaceship that could take us, couldn't we? Mm -hmm. I did ask for someone who was passing in a spaceship to take mm -hmm. us away. Yeah. So they could take us mm -hmm. on their way to back to Venus or something. Um. Margaret Latter says, you're talking about a lifestyle most of us couldn't even dream about. That's it's not said. It's not that fancy, Margaret. It l might look quite glamorous, but it's still normal life. It is it's normal. Just, it's, it's very, it's very normal. normal. Yeah. I mean, you, you mm. would get people, yes, who were very, very wealthy. Um, but, like, but then you'd get very, very normal people as well yeah. there. Yeah, very much And so. you get some that... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to go there. Um, how did we meet? There's another question. How did oh, we yeah, meet? We, did uh, we met... Um, Mutual. We met in the Novotel in Wollongong. Yeah, Wollongong, which is in New South Wales, if South you're not Wales. familiar. It's about an hour south of Sydney. Yeah, and uh, we were just introduced to each other from a mutual dance teacher who uh, tried to get us together to dance, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. So I, I started having lessons with Alan and Donna, only a few, just to kind of look for a partner, um, because I've been living on Ephraim for a couple of years and, and not done any dancing because I couldn't find a suitable partner and um, they had been I suppose not long relocated back to Sydney because she's Australian and, and uh, he's English so they went back to Australia and they took over um, her father's dance studio her, fa her mother and father's dance studio and when they did that I was, eventually I kind of approached them about a partner for me and they said well come and have some lessons and then we'll, we'll see so I did that, and um, I was originally going to dance with a Japanese. Did you say this last uh, week? Did I? Well, did I? I don't yeah. know. I've said it before, I'm mm. sure, but it might be different people. Mm. I was going to dance with a Japanese guy, but he got. Um, oh. I don't know why you shoved oh. a lime in your <laughs> mouth. Well. Seriously. I'm trying to make myself feel better. A bit of um, vitamin C. Carry okay. on. Carry on. Yeah, so, uh, but that kind of fell through because he got quite mentally ill and didn't end up moving and all that sort of thing. Well, I met Vero. Yeah. He was a nice guy. Yeah. He lost the plot, didn't he? Yeah. Probably lost the plot. He locked himself in his room. He lived with Alan and John, didn't he, for a while, I think? I think so. Yeah. Locked himself in his room. I think there was things up the wall and all sorts. He went proper bloopy. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. We think that. Margaret's got a problem having to dash, dash the toilet after she giggles. This guy clearly didn't leave his room to use the toilet number ones or number twos. Oh dear. Yeah, it wasn't great. Oh dear. Mm. Anyway, so luckily that didn't happen and they said, well, we know someone else but he lives in the UK. He won't oh, move to Australia, so you'd have to go there. And uh, I said, well, that's all right then, but he's got to come to Australia to have a tryout. So we did. <laughs> Any excuse? I, I did not think about how much that would cost you or anything Any excuse? like that. I was just like, well, no, if I'm going to move there, you can come here. 600 Fifty-five pound, I think that's what it was. Cheap now, isn't it? Yeah, Fifty-five that's quid. Cheap now. Yeah, I didn't have to pay for accommodation. I stayed with Alan and Donna, so yeah, I just flew out and stayed with them. But yeah, six hundred fifty-five quid to meet you. It's as good as Australia. Would have been cheaper to have had her, I think, sent by You've DHL. Got some lime on your lip. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Um, so yeah, that's how we met. That's how we met. And then uh, we, yeah, first met in the hotel while I, where I was staying. It did cost me money as well. I had to fly to Wollongong and then I had to stay in a hotel. Oh, well, shucks. But you lived on. You lived in paradise. I had to stay there for a week in a hotel. Oh, That's not shucks. Cheap. Shucks. It was a nice hotel. No, it wasn't. It was alright. Where did you stay? Novotel. Did you stay at the Novotel yeah. that first time? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. So you stayed up the road in some little motel. Oh no, I did. No, I stayed at the Novotel and I only went there for a couple of days. That's right. Yeah. No, yeah, I stayed in that little. Yeah. 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 Forgot. <laughs> she was. She was lost in the. It moment. was like a little. Um, yeah, motel, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It was. It 
was fine, wasn't it? Basic. Look at my face. We're watching it back. Look at my face when I'm questioning you. It was awful. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, no, no, I know what happened. I went to the Novotel, I think, for a couple of nights, and then I went to the other little place for the rest of it. No. I don't know why. I can't remember the reasoning behind Cost, it. Cost, probably. No, well, no, I think it was cost, but I think it was also just when um, they had available rooms and stuff. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. She's always had that kind of taste, though. She's always wanted the, the expensive stuff. But most of the time she has to just put up with cheap nonsense. I do now. You do, well, yeah, absolutely <laughs> now. Absolutely now. Um, anyway. here's, here's a question for you, Kelly. Yes. Which romantic spot did James choose to propose to you? He didn't. Well, I did, kind of. We got married for a visa. Plain and simple. <laughs> so this was a day. Plain and simple. It? So when James proposed was the day when I was going to the home office, wasn't mm -hmm. it? to apply for my second visa. So I'd already had a visa and it was coming up to its expiry. Uh, so we had to go to the home office. We, I'd been here for two years and we'd been together pretty much for the two years. Mm -hmm. So we thought we could go and get a de facto visa because I wasn't really working in an official sense or anything like that. So no. we couldn't stay on a, you know, through an employer or anything like that because we taught dancing and it wasn't enough to sort of yeah. for them to give me a working visa so um, we thought we could get in on a de facto situation anyway when we went there they said I didn't have enough proof to say that we'd been living together the entire time and that we were in a relationship so um, they didn't want to put my application forward because it was a lot of money I think it was about 600 pound actually more than that, I'm sure it was more no, than that. No, it was about 600 pounds to put the application in. And then she said it'll likely get denied. So she said, I we'll can lose put our it money. in, but you won't get your money back. So I said, okay then, what do we do then? She looked at she literally said, get married. <laughs> so mm. we're like, oh, we just sort of looked at each other, mm. didn't we? We drove home. Because you have to go to London. We had to go to London, didn't yeah, we? Did. So it's Croydon, quite, actually. Quite an ordeal. Croydon. And uh, so he asked me in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Should we get married then? That's, that's what I said. Yeah. 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 But um, you were talking on the phone to your mum because we're on the way back. Mm. I remember this because um, you were talking on the phone to your mum and telling her what had happened and, and she said to you, oh, what are you going to do then? And you said, well, I'm going to have to marry her, aren't I? <laughs> something. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, okay then. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the proposal pretty yeah. much. Mm. Mm. Nothing elaborate or... No. Like that. And we've still had to keep the ruse up all this time. It was forced upon us. We've had to keep the ruse up the whole time. <laughs> you know, it's arranged all that situation. Yeah. So there we go. Um, were you guys as cheeky to each other when you first met as you are now? No. Yes. He was. <laughs> yes. I didn't talk. <laughs> no, can I tell him about the time when you were sat opposite me on the other sofa? No. Okay. That is not fair. <laughs> I wouldn't dare do that uh, to you. I see, it wouldn't bother me though, would it? You would so. No, I wouldn't bother. Would so. No, um, it, it took no, Kelly I, a while to become as as uh, fruity. I think, I think as she James, is now. James thought I was mute. <laughs> yeah, she didn't speak a lot, to be honest. Yeah. Where's he gone? Who's over there? Yeah, James thought I was mute. I think I didn't didn't speak really very much at all. No. I was basically petrified. You've only really become less petrified in the last, I'd say, 18 months. Oh, that's nonsense. Yeah. How long have we been together? 12 years? 2006, darling. That's 15 years. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the last count. Only married for 11, though. Yeah. 12 this year. Yeah. That's why I had 12 in my head. Okay. It's not been the last 18 months that we've been like this okay. with each other. No, I didn't mean with us, between us, but you in general with other people. I'm not cheeky with other people, am I? You are at times. Sometimes. You need to be more cheeky. There was another question, uh, dancing related, uh, from Margaret. Will you be teaching your technique classes once again in May, Kelly? The ladies ones? Yes. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah. I'd like it so, to. Yeah. So, um, yeah, if, you, if you're all up for that, then there's no reason why we, we shouldn't. Yeah. For sure. Oh, I think Sarah yeah. Ball asked another question as well. Mm -hmm. When do you do your line dancing lessons? Line dancing? Well, we don't really do any line dancing. I do solo Latin in ballroom, like on a Wednesday that I do, that we stream. I do those in the flesh. 
Um, I wouldn't call it line dancing. I want to call it line dancing. I feel like I'd have to wear cowboy boots and a hat. To call I've it line done da- line dancing before. This is news to me. And so did my mum. My mum and I did it for a little really? while. Really? How yeah. old were you? This was when I danced at, um, in town school. Yeah. The dance studio had a little line dancing thing as well. So your mum came and did some line dancing? Yeah, you? we did it together. Oh, how twee. We wore our little jeans. And we did how little, twee. We did little demonstrations at places. Oh, God, I couldn't yeah. do anything worse. Yeah. Really? Knees up. Oh, I bet your mum loved your that. Was that when your mum was all fitness freak? Yeah, she was. She was very slim. And, yes. Yeah. Well. Have we seen the film The Pajama Game? No, I haven't. The Pajama Game? No, no that, that, I, I know of different games that involve pajamas, but, <laughs> but uh, not the film The Pajama Game. Uh, there's a great dance sequence to the tune Steam Heat. Choreography by Bob Fosse. Mm. Worth a look. Oh, it's worth a look. Yeah, I like Fosse yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like the old. I like Bob Fossil. Style. <laughs> it's not funny. That's a mighty. No, it's a mighty Boosh reference. Is it? I can't believe oh, you didn't not, get it. Oh no. What? Ah oh. oh, yes. Bob yeah. Fossil doesn't yeah. matter. But they're not going to understand that. I know. Well, someone out there might do. I doubt this. They watch the mighty. Oh beach. look, Lorraine McDermott says you're both too classy for line dancing. Ooh, <laughs> classy. <laughs> it was very classy. <laughs> Teresa's looking forward to more ladies' technique classes. Says Jonathan. Is that because you're going to kick her out, John? You want to get her out to go and do something, or is it hopefully going to help her back? Oh goodness. Ah, Sarah Ball meant sequence dancing Monday nights. Monday nights in Ferrum, eight o'clock. Yes. That should all go ahead, yes. shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, that'll be that'll be cracking on immediately. Mm. Yeah, as soon as we're able to. Yeah, May, I I May, don't do sequins. Bob Fosse was in Kiss Me, Me Kate, Kate on BBC. Oh. We don't watch BBC. No. No. We don't really watch telly at all, actually. No, we don't really watch much, no. much telly. All we do is we watch ourselves back on YouTube. That's no, all we, we do. Don't. That's all we do. No, we don't. Sit there and watch no, our we, own we live lo- streams. We we lo- watch a lot of um films and stuff don't we yeah yeah we don't watch a lot of tv conspiratorial and youtube oh, don't start. Uh, videos and stuff as don't well start that. yeah no don't need to <laughs> any more questions I no think we've, we've reached a little well yeah they just they just sit there and listen to us don't they waffling on reached a little slumber holding on every breath holding on every breath i do wonder if this is actually worth your time well, it's free. What are they talking about? They just, they've got nothing else to do. They can't go out, can they? It's either this. I don't know what's Honestly, on the telly now. We just, we just babble on, don't we? I know. Some people must find it entertaining. All, all, um, all eight of them. Well, there's seven on Facebook. <laughs> there and there's go. eight on YouTube. Fifteen. I oh, just dropped down. As I said that, it dropped down. <laughs> Someone left. <laughs> uh, well, of course, bear in mind, some, some of these are couples. They sat there as a couple watching. Oh, so, so it could double be double. That. You could double that. could be at least so 20 people 30, in total. Well, eight, seven and eight. Well, I know there's quite a few that are single yeah. people. Oh. Yeah. So, you Let's know. pretend. Yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> Honestly, it's still not bad compared to... It's almost as good as Joe Biden's live press conferences. True. It's almost mm. as good as that. I think he had 76 <laughs> one of them. <laughs> live Facebook streams. Oh. Apparently, Ros Canning says she loves hearing about our life. Oh, really? Yeah. And Blenmouth Beauties are typing something. I think perhaps we should do a quiz before we go back to normal. Do do a quiz? Yeah, I think we should do one last quiz. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, one last quiz. Yeah. The quiz to end all quizzes. Quiz to end all quizzes. Yeah. Mm. Sounds good. Mm. Did we do a one-off quiz for something? Christmas. Halloween. 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 We didn't, sorry, a, yeah. we didn't do a Christmas. No, we didn't do a Christmas. Christmas. We, we did, did a Halloween, Halloween quiz. One. Yeah, instead of a Halloween social yeah, dance. Yeah, we did. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, I think we were expecting to be dancing when we were doing the Christmas one. We were. That was kind of unexpectedly. It was. Yeah. It was. Let's not dwell. Yeah. We love it. Waffle away. Thanks very much. <laughs> and Sigrid says it's the highlight of her week. Oh, that's and Sigrid fine. Walks, and Sigrid walks down into Bishop's Waltham. So this is even better than a walk down into Bishop's Waltham. Just like Ephraim. Yeah. <laughs> Linda Bloom wants to know if we'll get some more male dancers. What do you think, Linda? No idea. What do you think? I mean, we're just happy for bodies to come in, aren't yeah. we? I've, they, I've, I've had this... Be they boy or girl? I've said this before. Or anything in between. <laughs> what are the chances 
of single males, or males that are not single, just think of it, really. If you're, if you're in a relationship um, and your male partner wants to go off and dance, but you don't, it doesn't seem that acceptable. But the other way around, it always seems to be okay, doesn't it? What's what now? A bit of fluff. I don't know, I'm just going to like it. So, um, it just doesn't happen very often, does it? No. And then just to have single men on well, their own that no. have only got the intention of dancing is also very difficult to find. We've never had, yeah, a male come in that is in a relationship or married or that kind of thing. And they're his wife always, or his partner's not interested. And, they're, and they're, yeah, and, and he just right. wants to come and dance. That yeah. I, 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 I can't think of I don't think I can't think of that either. Like that. No. But but many 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 of our ladies that come. Yeah, the are man's like at that. home and yeah. she's off dancing. Yeah. That's strange, isn't it? I think it's a bit of cultural. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. a bit cultural. Yeah. Um, but really, those men should come because they would actually enjoy it. It's better than golf. Oh yeah. It's better than golf. Yeah. yeah. Oh, too Double stressful. Stuff. My bottom, Margaret Latter. It's not too stressful at all. Oh, it's only a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Don't make it. Someone stressful. needs to come last, Margaret. And it, we it, need we need a wooden spoon. We, yeah, someone needs a wooden, <laughs> a wooden spoon. Double standards. Oh, honestly. What? Well, I'm just looking at the question that's coming from. Clearly, it's coming from Julian. What would you both consider to be the hardest ballroom figure to perform? The hardest ballroom figure. Well. What's hardest for me isn't necessarily hardest for Kelly, isn't necessarily hardest for you. So it's different for everybody. Yeah, that, that There are figures that are technically difficult to make perfect, but I think everyone's... I never liked the outside uh, spin. The outside no. spin? The outside was, spin. Yeah, I always found yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Pain in the backside. And then you can do a reverse one, can't you? No, it's double natural. Double that's natural. It, it, yeah. Na yeah, that's that one. Yeah, double natural. We, yeah, we had a lesson with Andrew Sinkerson once to do some new war choreography. And uh, I think it was just full of that pivots, double naturals, pivots, double yeah. naturals, into a left it. whisk. No, into a, into a right whisk and then a left whisk. <laughs> we just couldn't do it. We could probably do it now, but yeah. then it was just oh, it's too difficult. At the yeah. side of the floor as well. I don't think there's one, around a corner. Yeah, I don't think there's one single figure as such. Usually it's the combination that makes them mm. difficult. You know, because if you can learn to do it once, then that's something. And then joining up with other things or doing it more than once, that tends to get a bit harder. The ginger cats. Yeah, no, she didn't say that, though. She said, my I ginger, I can another word for cat, yeah. likes watching you. So she's, she's a filthy devil. Filthy, filthy. Can yeah. you get us some dummies for dance? Well, to be honest, Roz, I would argue that we have quite a few dummies anyway. <laughs> so... Getting more dummies is just basically opening the doors to more people. Okay. That's harsh. I'm only joking. <laughs> but you gave me the line and I just had to hit it. I had to hit it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here's the thing. Look, Lorraine says, uh, I know a man who started to learn to dance with Jessica and his wife put a stop to it. Oh. That's a bit unfortunate. Wow. And she's not even provocative. Yes, she is. <laughs> But it's not what she's teaching. She's evil when no, she's I teaching. Know. I know. Yeah, well, some people like that. Like yeah. That. Well, not evil. That's the wrong choice of words. But she's... Yeah. Strict. Yeah. Mm. Wow. No nonsense. Well, what can you do? She should... Well, that woman's wife should have joined in as well and, and found out how much fun it was. Yeah, this is the thing, isn't it? It's a bit so, odd. so lots of ladies come without their other halves, but not, not many men. Hmm. Hmm. Often, what sometimes what we do get is the couple come together, and then the man ends up liking it more than the lady does. Yeah, that's happened before. That's quite funny. Mm. I like it especially, and I do uh, inside. I, I quite enjoy this, and I perhaps shouldn't say this. This is a bit naughty, but I, on a, on a number of occasions, I've had wedding couples come in, mm. and the woman has been really keen and really um, full of their own ability. Yes. And implying that they're really good and they know what they're doing, but and then putting their man down terribly, um, terribly putting him down. He's no he good. He's rubbish. And then they come in for a lesson, and he picks things up really quick, and she really struggles, and then all hell breaks loose. Yeah. 
mm. because suddenly she, she's she's she she realizes she actually she's not very good at it, and her partner that she was hammering, saying that uh, he's not going to get it, he's useless. He's actually not bad. I've never really had couples like that. I have. Have you? Yeah. You seem to bring this out in people. Yeah. Well, I well I just have a certain way of dealing with people, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I I have trouble with people who think they who think they're full of themselves. Oh uh, yeah, who think they're really good at something. Think they're really good at something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because actually, yeah. you you can never dance. People say, "Oh, I'm a really good dancer. I'm really good with my rhythm and timing, that sort of thing." Great. That's fine. If you're dancing around a handbag or um. A pint, whatever you know. <laughs> Men dance around pints, don't they? Women dance around handbags in a mm. nightclub. But doing ballroom dancing, structured dancing, is a completely different kettle of fish. Completely different kettle of fish. I think though, some women get it because uh, some women will go to different types of dancey type classes, won't they? So they'll try, you know, other things that perhaps their husband to be hasn't mm. bothered with, and so they think, oh well, I can do that, and I can do a bit of yeah. this, and do these different exercise classes which are a bit dancey and. Mm. And yeah, it's not they the think same. it's the same, and obviously ballroom's a bit, bit different. So the guys come in with a logical brain, because that's kind of proved, isn't it? Men have more of a logical brain, women have more of an emotional brain. A bit. Uh, I know, but that's just kind of typical. So sometimes men just come in, right, okay, well, it's just forward, and it's to the side, and it's closed, and it's back, and it's that way. It's just very simplistic and logical. Mm. And they do it a bit robotically, but they just get the patterns, get the steps. Yeah. And they just work at it differently. Yeah. And they're fine. But I think also with that, some, some people come in expecting themselves to be fine and good at it and then realise it's not and then they panic mm. and then it makes mm. it worse. Yeah. It's funny. I, I laugh. <laughs> I laugh. I like it. Inside. Inside. I don't let them know I'm laughing, of course. You get you get all sorts, don't you? You get people that are really not very confident in themselves at all but actually they're absolutely fine mm. and then you get the old polar opposite of that. Yeah. People think, oh yeah, it's going to be easy and actually then they find it really challenging mm. and they get really frustrated mm. and they're the ones you have to say, look, yeah. you know, I know it's difficult, but you know everyone finds it difficult to a certain point, so you just have to run with it. Obviously, I like to encourage people and bring the best out of them. But when I get someone who's cocky, yeah, it does get my back up a little bit. Coming from someone who's been quite cocky in the past yourself, I would never. I was never cocky. I was confident, mm -hmm. and people didn't like it. They thought it was cocky, but I was confident, and I was backed it up, and I did what I said I was going to do. So well, that's not true. cocky. You, you always do back up. I got into a lot, of, a bit of grief when I was a young amateur, a little saying that I was going to do this and that, I'm going to beat people and all that sort of thing, and they thought I was being cocky and arrogant. But I did exactly what I said I was going to do. So that's just confidence. That's just confidence. Well, that's like sometimes um, people don't like it. Muhammad Ali was like that, wasn't he? I wouldn't like to. I wouldn't put myself in the same bracket. As no, but Ali. he was very I mean, like I'm he far was superior to Muhammad Ali. <laughs> I mean, he talked the talk, didn't he? And then he walked the walk as well. So people didn't like that, did they? No. Because he was yeah, very much exactly. like, well, I'm, yeah. I'm the best and, yeah. you know, I'm going to win everything. Well, people feel threatened by and that, then he don't did. they, normally? <laughs> but yeah, they didn't, didn't like that, yeah. necessarily. Oh, there's an issue then, clearly. Oh, I don't know what that means. Uh, well, we don't need to... Okay, yeah, okay. Years ago, my mum... My oh, man. my man! I thought it said mum. My man wanted to start ballroom dancing and I wasn't interested to really regret oh. that. Well, let... It's a shame, Margaret, well, isn't it? But you're doing it now, yeah. so that's. Yeah. But not with her man, unfortunately. I know, I yeah. know. Jonathan Latter was dragged to dancing, and uh, By Teresa. Teresa and Margaret Latter were, in, were, were colluded to force him to go, and now he. <laughs> I like the last sentence, though. I quite like you it. You only now. quite like it now. I think you like it a little bit yeah. more than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't like it so much, though, that he gets dance shoes. True, yeah. Or proper dance shoes. I'm not sure what he's wearing. They're not proper dance shoes, I think. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah. I think um, the reaction we get from men, mostly, that, that come in and sort of think, oh, I don't really want to do this, is actually they quite like the challenge. And they think, mm. oh, actually, I'm quite, you know, because it's, like you say, it's quite methodical. Yeah. And it's something you can do in, in quite a logical sense. And they, they quite like that, that little puzzle to work yeah. out. I think yeah. also the, the good thing that we have is that we've got a couple of male teachers as well yeah. which is helpful because yes. growing up I was surrounded by dancers well a lot of a lot of the dance schools I went to or were involved with they had ladies at the helm ladies yeah. at the helm at the time, which is fine nothing wrong with that but obviously it can be quite um, intimidating for a bloke to turn up and then he's uh, being taught by a lady and I know that's perhaps a bit sexist perhaps but Jonathan um, says he has dance shoes yeah but they're not proper dance shoes I'm pretty sure <laughs> 
They're too big. I know. Hang on, we've had this conversation. No, that's right. He didn't have dancers, and he got some. But I think they're about four sizes too big. Oh no! Is that right? Is that right, Jonathan? I'm not sure. Can't remember. Well, four sizes sounds a bit of an exaggeration. Yeah. Well, yeah, not four sizes. Yeah. And she says she got dance classes as a gift for Sam. That way, he couldn't say no, and now he loves it. Oh, that's good. That's quite like it. Yeah. And they're apart as well. There's, oh, there we go. So there we go. Uh, Sam, um, Sam and Ange, they come to us at Hampton classes. Uh, Ange has been booted out to Belgium for a year to work, and Sam's on his own. He's got to go, and she, he's got to still go dancing. He's not allowed to not go dancing. So there we go. He'll be in demand there if he go. comes to class. So we've got he's one spare bloke. He's going to be running scared now. He's going to be a bit like that other young fellow that came to class for a little bit, and then uh, he never came back. Bless him. I don't know who that was now. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Oh, the shoes are yeah. too wide. Too wide, yeah. You right. want a nice fitting. You want to. You want to get yeah. fitted for shoes, jo Jonathan. That's what you want to get. Perhaps you should spend a thousand pound and get your own last made, so then you can have your shoes made perfectly to your foot. Don't need to do that. Ray Rose offered that service. Did they? Yeah. Oh, spend a thousand pound to get your own last. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We never needed one because we off. We just fitted. Yeah, I just always found they fitted. Just fitted. So. We didn't need to yeah. worry about it. But a lot of the the. Um, uh, I think sponsored feet, couples yeah, have feet, to do that. feet are really difficult actually. They're not not as easily to get the right fit as, as you might think. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sigrid, don't talk about other rival dance dance um, shoe manufacturers, please. <laughs> yeah, you'll get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, what else are we talking about? I don't know. Have we lost the plot now? Yeah. Well, there's no video, is there, either, to talk about? No, no, it hasn't prompted that. We have both been over an hour now. We have. Yeah, we have. Well, we had a bit of an interruption at the yes, beginning, didn't we? Did. we so. Yeah. Yeah, I've clicked the wrong button. So, well, I presume they've all had dinner. Have they all had dinner? Probably. Or they're eating their dinner whilst they're watching us. Possibly. We're having burgers tonight. Do, Do you, you have, have an opinion? opinion? On Do using you, mirrors. When learning to dance, does it help? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, not necessarily initially, not necessarily to start with, but once you're up and running and know a bit what you're doing, it's very useful, mm. especially in Latin. Not so much in ballroom, but especially in Latin. Well, I don't know. I think it's it's useful, obviously, to check your posture. So, um, you know, if everyone's got a full-length mirror, especially, that's useful. Um, you can sort of stand up in the mirror, turn side on, check your posture and things like that. A lot of dancers get accused of being quite vain, don't mm. they? But quite often you're always looking in the yeah. mirror. Well, I yeah, mean, we were always looking in the mirror when we were practicing. We are constantly checking yeah. our posture and our line mm. and all that sort of thing. And, and it can anyone, be misconstrued as dancing, yeah, but and it's not Yeah, anyone just walking past or watching might think, oh, God, they're always looking at themselves. But, yeah, you, you, you've got to constantly check yourself. And, yeah. and the way you feel... And the way it looks can be two different things. And we used to find we had to video ourselves a lot as well because we'd think, oh, I'm putting in like 110% effort. And then you'd watch it and you think, I still not right. You know, so you think, okay, I've got to do more. I've got to do something else and encourage more. So, yeah. Um, mirrors are very helpful in the visual sense because the way you feel things in that sense doesn't always translate to how it looks. Yeah. You know, the mind is can trick you somewhat. Mm. So quite often, you know, when I tell people and I correct their posture, they might say something like, oh, I feel like I'm sticking my bum out or I feel like, you know, <laughs> he's become conscious that they're sticking their chest out or whatever. And then they look in the mirror and they realise, oh, actually, I'm not. I just look normal. Mm. Um, Unfortunately, Because most... they come from a place that feels normal, yeah. which might be the incorrect yes. posture. Yes. So what feels normal to you, when you then have to adjust it for dancing, will feel really strange. And mm. you might think, surely that's not normal. That doesn't feel right. Look in the mirror and you think, actually... It is right. Did he have a little whimper then? No, it was me on the chair. Oh. He's, he's got quite sleepy tonight. He's been not so interfering. He's very he? sleepy. Oh, I've got, 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 got. <laughs> the dog. Oh. He's, he's nearly six months old. Oh. This weekend. Is he six, six months, months old this, this weekend? Sunday. Is, he? Yeah. is he? Yeah. Aww. Sorry, I woke you up, didn't I, buddy? You needed to wake up, though, because I was putting you towards the camera. He's buried his head in your... <laughs> He's still got a dodgy haircut. 
Yeah. I'm gonna let it grow yeah, a bit more. He can go to the thing now, can't he? Yeah, he can. But I need. To, I want to let it grow a bit more because it's a bit short still. Mm. He's buried his head. But in I my didn't. Armpit. I didn't cut his hair on his tail, so that's getting quite long. His tail, actually, I don't know if they can see. If you can, his tail actually finishes there, and there's about what, hang on two, nearly three inches of hair. They can't see it, Cal. Okay, well, there's about that much hair off of the end of his tail. So his tail's not even that long, it just looks long. <laughs> <laughs> and like, well, unless there's any pressing questions, um, I'm going to, uh, we, we might call it a night. But um, oh, just one thing I want to remember, um, those of you that dance with us in Millbrook, um, we can use that now. They've said that we can use it for private lessons as well before uh, classes resume. In, in May so those of you that are that way and wanted to do private lessons then um, you can so drop us a line and we can arrange something I know there's uh, I know Ray you were wanting to do something there as well where's Ella tonight should we get Ella to come and say hello yeah Let's put it on mute for a second because I'm going to shout one second okay right she we'll comes. get Ella to come and say hello so the dog said hello and now Ella said hello. Hello. Hang on, you're not on the, you're on the wrong thing, so they won't, you won't see us. There you go. Oh, oh my goodness, she's saying. Don't, don't be silly, though. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. How did you do at school today? Good. Yeah. How was your, how were your spellings? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. Was that the same as last week? Yes. Do you know why you got 10 out of 10? No. Because you practised. Yes. We made our practice. Have you, oh, actually, people wouldn't have seen that hole in your mouth, would they? Oh, yeah, I don't want to show them. She's lost her top front tooth. So now she doesn't have to open her mouth to drink through a straw. <laughs> Just go through the hole. <laughs> How much did you get for your tooth? 800 pounds. Uh, no, just a pound. Just, just, a, just a pound? Just what do you mean, just a pound? Just a pound. That tooth was tiny as well. One pound. I think it's expensive teeth, aren't they? Mm. Yeah. Got loads to go yet. Yeah. This know. is only the third one. Do you think if I, Ella, do you, do you think, because your tooth was about a quarter of the size of one of mine, do you think if I pull mine out and put it under the pillow, I'll get a fiver? No. What do you think I'll get for it? Because she, she, you'll get nothing. Why? Because she only takes baby teeth. Is it only baby teeth? Yeah. Well, okay, maybe we pull, because we need some money, we're a bit hard up. Should I pull your teeth out? No. Put under your pillow? <laughs> no. No? No. <laughs> Did you put it in your money box? Yeah. Yeah. Then it's nice and You've got more money in your money box than we have. <laughs> what are you going to buy from your money box? I haven't thought about it. I thought she was going to buy a tiger or something. Oh, we, yeah, we, well, she talked about that. She talked about oh, getting yeah, a, I want uh, to get that. a tiger from I the think, WWF. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to teach you how to keep a little ledger of your money. Yay. How's that sound? Good. So you can count how much money you've got. When you put one yeah. in, you add it up. And then when you yeah. take some out, you... Away, she, kind of she actually said she wanted to uh, use some of the money to help buy a, a new house, probably yeah, a bigger garden. Bless her. Yeah, she said, I've got lots of money in my money box, we can use that to buy a new house. <laughs> no, I didn't mean us, I meant when I grew up to buy a new house. Oh, so what but about I, us then? But I will give you some money. You'll give us some money, yeah, will you? I will, from my money box. Will you? I will, because well, I've got lots of money. Can I have all the, will you give us all the brown coins? Mm, I'll just give you what I get. Okay, so the brown coins. <laughs> she doesn't. I don't know. Do you know what the brown coins are? The copper ones. The yeah, coppers, the tuppences and the pennies. They're like one penny. They're yeah. worth very much. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, have you got anything to say to everyone watching at home? All the millions of people watching us? I have no idea. What do, no. You, what do you want for dinner? Burger? It's very late. Quarter past or eight for her. Pizza. Pizza? Pizza, pizza, pizza. Yeah, such healthy. Pizza. We're such healthy people. We're burgers and pizza, pizzas pizza, tonight. Pizza, pizza, pizza. The, the burgers are absolutely pizza, delicious. Pizza, pizza, pizza. They're, they're pizza delicious. Right, you're you can go now. Little puppy. You can go now. <laughs> and we need to go and put some dinner on them, don't we? Yeah. Oh, it's been very good though, because you know, you've been cooking from scratch. And everything. Yeah, yeah. So not cooking from scratch tonight. We'll do tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Ella and I are having a sleepover tomorrow. You are. So I don't know what we're going to do. In this room, we have a little sleepover. We yeah. pretend that we've gone out somewhere. So we have a little sleepover. We pull this out. It's like a little sofa bed. It's not very yeah. comfortable, actually. No, it's not very comfortable. We still watch a film on the computer. Yeah, and so uh, it's, it's James and Ella's turn. We've done it for ages, actually. 
I've only done it once each. Yeah, and uh, we have a little disco because we, we turn all the lights off and have the disco light that's going on in the background there. Yeah, yeah it's nice. And then nice. her and I will do it in a couple of weeks or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be yeah. fun. We play games though, Ella and I. You play games. Ella and I did nail painting and yeah. we Maybe. did face masks. That was nice. Maybe we should do. I, I made one with avocado and stuff. It was nice. Actually. I had it. So it was really nice. It Honey was, and it, avocado, wasn't it? Was it was delicious. I'll have to look it up because <laughs> it was a sort of face mask you could put on your face and then eat some. It was, it was yummy. Yeah, it was good. Avocado, honey, and something else. Maple syrup? No, no. no avocado, honey, oats, I think. And I blended it all up in the, in, right. the in the bullet thing, you know. Oh, yummy as. Mm. Better than desserts that you can get. Better than desserts. Mm. Anyway, there you right. go. Right, anyway, there we go. So, shall we, um, shall we go? Shall we go? Yeah. Happy Friday night. Happy Friday. Say goodbye, Happy buddy. Happy weekend. Say goodbye. Have a good weekend. Say goodbye to everyone, bud. He just looks like a white puff. You can't even see him. Say goodbye. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Don't lick my face. Don't lick He's my face. Lick your face. You hold him. Because he, 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 he's used to you holding him like that. He's not... Oh. Well, you you wave his paw in the mornings off to Ella, don't oh, you? Oh, to Ella. To school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Mm. Gotcha. Right. Gross. So, um, <laughs> with that, we're going to go. I'll try and make sure we've got a video next week, so something else. So you haven't got to have us just for the whole hour, because I know that it's a bit uh, taxing just to listen to us waffle for an hour. Although I appreciate that the video is us as well, so you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's different, but... I'm going to try and sort the sound out as well because it really does infuriate me. We, I, I worked it out, out how to use the nice camera to get a nice quality image and then it doesn't work for some reason so I'll have to find out what's going on there. Um, but anyway, um, good stuff Ray, thank you very much. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you and uh, that's it really. That's all I've got to say unless you've got anything pressing, Kel. No. No, no not at all. So we're Just gonna have go. a good weekend. Have a nice guys. weekend everyone. Take care. Um, we'll have some more Look updates next week about the comp and about other things. There's a is it March next week? No, April next week. Is it April next week? April is next weekend. It's uh, Easter weekend. Next Thursday is April, isn't it? Mm. Oh yeah. So the week after that, Monday, Monday the fifth, I'll probably have an April update for everyone. Pretty much the same as March's update, to be honest. Uh, that's it, really. Then. Cool. Yeah. So as always, we've got a little ending video for you to watch. You know, or you can just log off immediately. It's up to you, really. You don't <laughs> mind. So, but anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. Thanks everyone for supporting us still. And Thank uh, you. I'll see you on Wednesday for another bit of uh, tango. Uh, Matteo and Jessica are with you tomorrow, of course, for some Latin and salsa. Tuesday stretching with Jess. And I say this every week. Get used to it now. Wednesday with me. Thursday with Latin fusion. And then we're back again <laughs> next Friday night for more of this with those two idiots here. Okay. Be good, everyone. Dance more, worry less. Not far away now. April the 12th. See you soon, everyone. <laughs>